Joining as many GCs as possible. Don't try and force it. I know it can be hard because that's what some other people are doing. It's like there are literally events called socials so that you can walk, be social. You don't need to then be like, oh, no, let me change myself so that I can be friends with them. Like, do these birds want to let me do my... <laughs> Sorry, I just closed the thing a bit. If you still hear birds tweeting in the background, my sincere apologies. This is not usually how my videos start, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Melanicious, your favourite melanated content creator that creates lifestyle videos. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to become more sociable and how to make friends when you're going to university. So let's get straight into the video. The first easiest way to make friends in university is through mutual friends. This is how I feel I've formed most of my friendships. <laughs> I came to university with a few people that I know. Um, I think beforehand, I was probably friends with maybe like two people that I knew from before I started university. And this helped me create mutual friends through them. For example, Blessing, I'm sure you've seen her in some of my previous videos. So through her, I met her flatmates and we all became friends. And that was mostly the main people I was hanging around with and going to places with. So if you do know someone, that is great. Even if it's just one person, you will create mutual friends through them and hanging around with them, especially if they know other people. Mutual friends, try it out. So now you're probably thinking, wait, but I don't know anybody and I'm going to university all by myself. How the heck am I meant to make friends when I don't have any mutual friends? Brilliant. That's okay, because I got you too. <laughs> so try and stay in an accommodation with people that you feel you may click with. I know this isn't something that's put on the website, but if you watch my other videos here for best accommodations and the worst accommodations, and if you watch my what they don't put on the website video as well, you'll get an insight as to where you'll find different kinds of people. So definitely check that out after this video. This will also make it easier for you to socialize with your flatmates. At the end of the day, when you're coming home, it's your flatmates that you're gonna see. When you're going to the kitchen, it's your flatmates you're gonna see. Now, you don't have to be best friends with your flatmates, but if that does happen, it's a big plus. One of the flatmates that you become friends with might have come to university with people that they know, and they could introduce you to them. And there you go, mutual friends once again. <laughs> Joining as many GCs as possible. I know this definitely definitely helps some people make friends. Joining GCs before you start, so you get to know the sort of people you're going to be in university with. There's loads of different GCs. Um, most of them, I think they're put on Twitter. So if you have a Twitter account, create a Twitter account and um, just look for like, if you just search Coventry GC or Leicester GC or um, UCL GC or I mean, like wherever university you're going to, just have a search for that and try and join some group chat so you can get to know people. Um, I wouldn't say overdo it in a sense where like forcing it with everyone inside the group chat then it just looks like you're doing too much it just looks like you're doing a bit too much love don't do too much <laughs> then you could also find people that are staying in the same accommodation as you as well there are accommodation gcs too trust me search hard for them <laughs> search hard there's like girls girls only ones there's mixed ones there's just like accommodation ones there's so many so many and if there's one that you feel like you want to start start one yourself as well i'm just going to interrupt and say don't try and force it don't force being friends with everybody just because you want to make friends it's not cute it's not cute and it's not good for you either because it means that you're not going to have actual valuable friendships you're just going to be friends 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 with all of these people and you have nothing to actually show for it apart from the fact that you're just forcing combo with everyone all the time think about it when you go to parties talk to other people if it's a house party don't be afraid to talk to other people that are there that's how i met one of my friends at getchi she's so lovely as well shout out to you getchi <laughs> i met her at a party that was going on in my flat and we just got talking our vibes bounced off of each other and we just became friends. Another place to make friends is joining societies. I know you've probably heard this a billion times, but it really does help because at the end of the day, you're in a place where you have common interests with pretty much everybody there. So you at least have something to talk about. It's not as awkward as making friends at a party where it's just like, oh, what do I say? Like, 
how was your semester going <laughs> like when you're in a society these people have common interests with you so you can talk about what's going on you can socialize in that sort of way so go to all of the social events like there are literally events called socials so that you can what be social don't be one of those people that just goes in a group stands in the corner and doesn't get involved in anything i know it can be hard because that's what some other people are doing but all it takes is like a group of a few people to break that ice and everyone usually starts doing the same it's always awkward at first once that ice is broken you'll find everyone is just having a good time as if they all know each other <laughs> the acs events freshers events girls nights games nights all of them go to as much as possible especially in first year honestly this is crucial <laughs> Another way is to be yourself. I know this is so cliche, like, ah, uh, just be true to yourself. Be true to who. Do not force yourself to change because of someone else or because you want to make friends. At the end of the day, you want to make friends with people that like you for you. And if the people that you're trying to be friends with don't like you, then you move on. You don't need to then be like, oh, no, let me change myself so that I can be friends with them. No, don't do that. We don't do that around here, okay? And that is not what we're going to do. If they don't like you, then you make friends with other people. If other friends don't like you, then you make friends with other people. If worse comes to worse, you keep the friends that you knew from before and you don't force friendship with anybody. You'll find that once first year is over, you won't even see half of these people anyways. All of these people are literally just going to be gone like that all of these friends that you think that you're making they're gonna go but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't make some valuable friends quality over quantity though that's what i really want to get at and just pray that god gives you the spirit of discernment to know what's good for you and what's not that's all from me today guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you found this useful comment down below any other advice you might have for making friends or what you think is the hardest thing about making friends with people in university or anything that you have on your mind i want to know let's start a discussion guys <laughs> so yeah make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you know when i'm posting and what i'm posting turn post notifications on and i'll see you guys in the next video bye I don't have time to waste the night I just wanna be in that touch tonight